guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica the Dancing Avon Lady, and today it is a much crazy, way overdue video on the results from the a new Issa Knox, uh, yeah, the new Anissa Knox Ultimate line. So, um, what happened is probably been, gosh, it's been a long time. It's actually been a really long time. I don't even remember how long it has been, to be honest with you. And I do apologize for that. It actually completely skipped my mind. And I forgot to do the review after two-ish weeks. Um, and I mean, it sounds like an excuse. And it kind of is an excuse, but literally I just forgot. And then I had some hormonal issues and I was too embarrassed to do a lot of videos. <laughs> So, because my face exploded. So anyways, we are talking a little bit about the a new Ultimate Issa Knox line. I did purchase the entire collection. It was definitely back in the summer. And um, I tried it out first impressions. Um, I'll link the video up here for you. And then I did use it for quite a while. I used it for months, actually. And it was working really, really well. Like, my skin did feel really hydrated. Uh, one of my favorite, absolute favorite things was the eye serum. The eye serum I love, 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 and I still do love. However, the only problem was that I started uh, experiencing breakouts. Now, I don't know for sure what it was caused from because I don't really have overly sensitive skin. I mean, I do react sometimes, but I would assume that the reaction would happen within the first six weeks and it was way after the first six weeks before um i actually started getting a bunch of breakouts so it started off right on my scalp line here and i freaked out because um i didn't know what was going on so i was, I was like changing my pillowcase like religiously and you know going into my my scalp line to wash my hair more thinking that maybe it's my bangs but um to no avail i was having issues so it could have been that it was during the time that Nathaniel started weaning, plus I was really, really stressed out with the mixture of work, the lockdown, the state of the world, and so I don't know what really the combination was. Plus, I wasn't eating as well as I should be. Like, I wasn't eating as clean um, and probably not drinking quite enough water. So with that said, not still not 100% sure whether or not the breakouts were attributed to the ultimate line because I figured it would also happen all over my face. I did end up getting like the sporadic ones on my cheeks, but it was mostly here and then a little bit around the jaw line here. As a result, I actually reached out to a couple of our FSTs or field sales trainers. Um, and specifically, I also reached out to Sam, who is our skincare expert, and I, you know. <laughs> I begged her, well not begged her, but I, I asked her very, very sweetly, very kindly for some help because I was freaking out. After some deduction, uh, we changed up my entire skincare line. I've been doing that for about a month now and it really has helped. Uh, and um, for the Isanox, although it is a very beautiful product, I've had customers purchase it. They love it. They love it. They love the fragrance of it. They love the feel of it. They love the story behind it. I don't know whether or not I would actually purchase it for myself. I do think it would probably is a little bit too rich. And honestly, it's the um, the amount of fragrance in it that probably I felt was not the most um, suitable. For me, I do have a scent sensitivity, so it, it does like it, sometimes it'll, it'll make my nose run or make my nose itch and things like that. I, I didn't break out into a full asthmatic attack or anything, but I do feel that it might be also just a little bit too, too too rich for my skin at this point in my life. So it might be something I could use later on. I will probably give these to my mom um, for her to use and experience. However, if I was going to repurchase anything, I would probably repurchase the eye serum. I haven't ventured back out to using it yet. It's, oh, okay. Yes, I do remember. I had, um, the, the other reason why it took me a while to film, and there was a segment of the, I, I just kind of used either older footage or things that um, wasn't beauty related because I also developed an eye infection from um, shampoo getting into my eye. And then I probably rubbed my eye and it got infected. Yeah, anyways, long story short, it's been a while. My skin was very well moisturized, hydrated. It was very soft. I really did enjoy the experience, especially of the night cream. The night cream, the fact that it is dual use, right? So you just see that I did use quite a bit of it. I did like the fact that they had the both the firming cream and the volumizing cream in it. So I did like that. 
And every now and then I will still, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably end up keeping the night cream and using it on my neck, my neck and decollage area, because I didn't have any breakouts in this area. So I'll probably do that and use, always do that as my last step so my fingers don't touch my face, just in case it was the, the intensity of the, of the Isanox that caused any of the skin irritation. Although I really honestly don't think it was. It, it might, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, guys, I'm not a skincare expert. I just know what works for my face and what doesn't work for my face. So the day cream, I will probably give to my mama if she wants it. Um, and same thing with the serum here. The eye serum, I'll probably keep around and I might just use it at night uh, because I really did enjoy the eye serum. Like I really, really, really like the eye serum. The fragrance itself, I do find it a little bit too strong for my personal liking. I do like a little bit more subtle scents, although it is very beautiful it's just a little bit too strong for my face and that's that during the time period that I did use it it was a long time guys it was several probably like several months I even kept using it even after I started experiencing the breakouts but um I did notice, like I said, my skin felt very, very moisturized, very soft. And I did notice that some of the fine lines, especially like right around this area here, it did seem to... Um, kind of like fade a little bit. I think it's probably because you do the serum and then you also use your regular eye moisturizer. So I think that that probably is the reason for that. So all in all, I do recommend the eye serum and I do really enjoy the night cream. The regular serum and the day cream, I probably would not repurchase for myself. However, I do have clients who do love it. But the eye serum and the night cream, I'll probably keep continue using um, Maybe not daily, but sporadically. What I am currently using right now, if you want me to share with you, is I am using the Belief Eye Balm. I'm really enjoying this one here. This is the Moisturizing Eye Balm from the Belief brand. And then this is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. So these were the, the two that Sam recommended. And it basically became a huge skin detox. I ate super duper clean, drank lots of water, tried to improve my sleep, um, which I wasn't doing very well during the summer and stuff, just again, stress related. And now I have slowly reintroduced back these uh, Dr. Belmer's Sitka Peptide. And then as well as over the last few nights, I have been using my the rest of my Mission Lux Rev. Oh my gosh, I still really love this. So I think of all the skater products, guys, I still I still really like the Mission Lux for a night cream. The issue that I was having with the belief is that although it is super hydrating, I just, I felt like, especially now that it's colder, it wasn't moisturizing or hydrating enough for my skin. So then I added back in the, the Dr. Belmer Sitka Peptide, which helped during the day. But at night, I really want to make sure that I am, you know, pampering my skin. So I have been using back the Mission Lux and I noticed that my, my acne scars even around here have really faded. And plus, this is just a beautiful experience. So that's that. I really love the Mission Lux, guys. I mean, I, I've gotten a, a mix of comments about the Mission Lux, but I personally really, really do enjoy it. Now, Avon is coming up with another skincare line in Campaign 7, and I ordered the demos for that. So I am really excited to experience that coming up and probably starting about two weeks or so when it arrives at my door, and I can't wait for that. Overall, the new Issa Knox line, great product line, not so great for me personally. I will probably continue using the eye cream, the night cream, probably as well probably until at least I finish this particular container and then I'm going to see how the new line works on me and then we'll go from there if you are a Mission Lux fan just know that I think it's in campaign six Avon is introducing the Mission Lux essence which I was so tempted to get but because we have the other line coming up I want to try that one because it sounds just absolutely fabulous so I'm holding off trying that one first and then figuring it out from there. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do let me know by giving this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notifications. I have new videos out and it's been seeming lately that is every Mondays and Fridays. So stay tuned for the next video. If you're interested in becoming a beauty boss and selling Avon products coast to coast all across Canada, click the link in the description box below and then click that join Avon button and I will be here to help you out. I love you guys. See you in the next one.
Bye.